Lagos, a city of over 21 million people, produces up to 800,000 metric tons of plastic waste every year. For many years now, plastic waste have been a big issue for Lagos residents, Nigeria as a whole. We generate plastic waste without really properly recycling them. The problem is that we have this thing. We have some areas in my area. We have a lot of gutters everywhere. We have a lot of gutters everywhere. Almost plastic, you know, alone down. We have a lot of gutters everywhere in this Lagos station. The fact that we do not have an adequate waste infrastructure in the state is presenting an opportunity for us on this project. So we cyclers as a company um, are seeing this issue and decide to provide a solution. We encourage people to recycle with us in order to capture value from their waste. We employ people to collect recyclables from our customers. And this waste could then be processed into products that could be useful into the chemical industry in Nigeria. BSF has taken the responsibility to be part of solving this challenge. In order to achieve this, we are establishing partnerships with social entrepreneurs, particularly with WeCyclers, with whom we have started the project. WeCyclers has a very strong partnership with BASF and we're very proud of it. What WeCyclers hopes to do is to continue to increase the value of the material that we collect and sell. BSF can use their process to convert it to virgin oils that can go back into the process. The higher the value of the material that we convert it to, the more likely we are able to actually put it back into a new product. So in this partnership, the goal is to try to create as pure and as valuable as a material as possible to allow it to be able to reuse at a higher rate. Okay, so the, um, the recycling has different processes. First, you collect recyclables. Our riders and our collectors bring it back to a hub. We have a, a group of sorters behind me that actually take these materials and sort by type. Then you have your knife with you. Sit down, separate the white from the green. Then brown separately, you sort the, uh, each of them separately. So PET bottles go on one side, HDPE materials go on one side, and then aluminum cans, paper also go in a different section. After these materials are sorted, we then take them to get their process, their um, values are added. And then what we do is actually compress the material through a baling machine. We uh, build these materials and then crush them to turn them into pellets. That, mat that material gets compressed and it makes it easier for us to transport when we do sell it to an off-taker. And that's pretty much the process that happens here. Based on our purpose, we create chemistry for a sustainable future. We want to be part of creating a sustainable environment. The Waste to Chemicals project for Nigeria hopes to achieve three objectives. The first is to build a scalable model which would enable us to collect and aggregate this waste. The second objective of the project will leverage on cost-effective pyrolysis technology to regenerate polycarbons from polypropylene, polyethylene and polystyrene. The third objective of the project will seek to enable a circular economy by re-engaging those chemical building blocks in the local chemical value chain. We're currently today sitting at the Waste to Chemicals Research Laboratory in Lagos, Nigeria. This is a purpose-built research and development facility enabling us to study the relationships between waste plastic streams such as polyethylene, polypropylene and polystyrene and the quality of the pyrolysis oil produced. By quarter one of 2021, we will take delivery of a 1,000 kilos per day continuous pyrolysis unit. We will also work with waste cyclers to set up the first dedicated upstream recycling hub, which will process 1,000 kilos per day of plastics waste required by this pyrolysis unit. By 2022, together with our partners, we will seek to establish two additional hubs able to process between three to five metric tons of plastics waste per day. By 2025, we hope to deploy between 50 to 60 of these units in communities around Lagos. This project will create an environmental, social, and economic impact in the state. By an environmental impact, it will stop up to 50,000 metric tons of waste plastics which would have ended up on the streets, in the drains and eventually in the oceans from ending up there. From a social perspective, 60% of the jobs which this hub will create will go to women. 
and would also enable these women to earn a decent monthly wage. From an economic impact, the oils which we would produce from converting these plastics to polycarbons can be processed and re-injected into the local chemical value chain in Nigeria. ASF, we create chemistry.